Hello, today I'm opening up World's Fair 1980 or 1893. Uh, this is a game from Renegade Games and Foxtrot. Plays uh, in about 40 minutes, ages 10 and up, and it's two to four players. This was designed by J. Alex Cavern. All right, so um, here's Bertha, the Republic, and a Ferris wheel. So let's see what's inside. All right, so a rule book. This is about, this is 12 pages, a lot of illustrations. Um, so it's a pretty straightforward um, game and rule book. So here is the top of the Ferris wheel. This is for the four player side. The other side is two to three players. And here's the three to four player base. And this one is a two player base. So it fits together like that. <clears throat> now we have the different um, sort of sides, the different colors um, to the Ferris wheel or to the game board. What do they call them? They call them area tiles. So there's agriculture, manufacturing, transportation, fine arts, and electricity gets its own. All right, so we have money tokens, so values one and two. Then there are ribbons. Here's the money, but uh, second place ribbons with value two and first place ribbons that are value four. All right. And this is the exhibit approval tokens. So five different colors, basically um, from these different colors. And there are 60 of those. So 12 each, or is it? Yeah, I believe 12. Now, here are the player cubes, influence tokens, I guess you could call them. Dottie, you're an influencer. Oh, right down the middle. Look at that toe. So, uh, four color cubes, purple, white, gold, and or yellow, and teal. And here is the Ferris wheel um, cart, which goes around and around. And there should be a round marker, so that will go here and then a scoring round for each round and then to the next round so on and so forth all right here is um here are a few of the different um exhibit cards and midway cards so here's one for red oh <laughs> well you get it so there's the long house and each one has a little write up about them. Um, so this one, for example, The Long House, dozens of etchings by American artist James McNeil Whistler were on display. Okay. This one's for transportation. Daimler quadricycle. Okay. This was the only automobile on display. Henry Ford saw it and drew inspiration from it. Wow. Okay. Um, sunny Autumn Day. George Innes Ines, considered by many the best American painter on display, presented 14 landscapes. Okay. Hmm. So some of the Midway cards. Uh, Irish village. Irish workers lived in stone cottages surrounding a replica of Blarney Castle. 35 cents entrance fee. Wow. I guess back in the day that's probably like 20 bucks or something like that. Enough for a movie. Um, Hagenbeck's Menagerie, okay, lions, tigers, and other animals trained by the world's best performed, best performed, okay, comma there, uh, 25 cents to a dollar per seat, wow, this was, that was a real, that's a Vegas show right there, um, so there are a bunch of these cards, so more Midway cards, here's 
uh, one of the character cards. So influential figures, uh, Bertha Palmer, President, Board of Lady Managers, Chicago Socialite. Okay, so here's one for the Gray Manufacturing Exhibit. Here's another Bertha. Here's Daniel Burnham, uh, Director of Works, Prominent Architect of Chicago. Okay, so here's a green one, Brazilian Coffee. Okay, this exhibit illustrated the coffee production process and provided samples to visitors. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm reading these out now because you won't get a chance once the game gets going. Um, it's really, you could spend your time, but you're going to be um, looking at the board more often and how you can move around your cubes. So there are a bunch of those cards. And here are some more. So the, the Fisherman, Adolf Brutt, a prominent German sculptor, had his and other of his early bronzes on display. Okay, George Westinghouse, and more cards. All right, so now we get to the um, reference cards. Here's one for a four player, two player, uh, three player, and your basic actions are, well, here are actually, some people complain that some cards have the same front and back. It's just a waste of space. That's that's a very good call out, but it doesn't really matter to me. So here are your basic actions. You can add an extra supporter to where you place, add one adjacent, except, to, except for the base area, which you can't. You can move any supporter, or you can add a supporter to a particular color. All right, so that is... Here's one more card, three player um, starting bonus. So get, they get to add a, a cube in blue and green and red. First player, it's always gray, just gray. Uh, here's fourth player advantage and um, second player starting bonus. All right, and this is the basic um, turn structure. So um, the first thing you do on a scoring phase is Score all your midway cards, count them up. The winners, or whoever has the most, will get an extra two. Uh, then you score for the, each area, and then you recall all your supporters. So that's what's inside of uh, World's Fair. Um, there's a lot of components, but uh, the game is fairly simple. So go ahead and try it out. Tonight we played World's Fair, 1893. Um, it's a J. Alex Kevern yeah. um, game put out by Renegade and Foxtrot. Mm -hmm. and I think the artist was uh, Jason Kingsley, one oh, okay. of our own Northwest Arkansas nice. natives. I don't actually I don't think he's a native of. I don't know. He, he's lived here before. <laughs> so, um, anyways, uh, this was our, not our first no. play, but yours. So we want to hear from you. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> What's your like very first thought of the game? Exactly speechless, that. speechless. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It was. Um, it wasn't really too hard to grasp. Like I kind of get it. Throw the dice and like different colors and stuff, and then you yeah. start to like you start to catch catch on to like everyone trying to screw everybody over. I <laughs> right, guess right. a little bit, a little bit, yeah. And, and actually trying to get more points. I got it at the end, but at the beginning it was just very it, Yeah, new. There, there's a lot of moving parts. Like yeah. the very first time, there's a lot of different colors. Like you're, I don't, I don't know if you can, um, without playing it a couple times, you know, like understand the um, nuances of, of For sure. like where to make your moves, basically, right, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, I even, I mean, I've played it quite a few times, and I think yeah. I've gotten it down now, but it t took me a lot of plays to, to get. You don't want to just control the area. You need to have the card for the area you control. So sometimes mm -hmm. you have to put a cube somewhere that's not really helping you to get the cards. Like, there's a lot of that going back and forth on your turns, so yeah. uh -huh. it takes a long time to get that through. Like, a lot of games that are area control, yeah. you just want to control the area, and it doesn't, you know, that's the main right. point. But this, you have to 
And you had that red super control, but you didn't have a red card. Right. Or, so the, you're not getting yeah. you're getting the points for it, but not getting the chips for it. So there's a mm-hmm. bit of a, a balance on those two things. Yeah. The but, one that it caught on is it's very very. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It was> <laughs> but that happened to me like two or three times too. I got right. a card for it. So. So um, when, at what point did you feel like um, you you finally got the game? Like maybe was like the third round. Oh, yeah. The third yeah. round. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's you know like yeah. Usually around then, like oh, okay, it's obvious that you know right. you should have. Uh, or what? Whatever. What round was it when I screwed you over? <laughs> first round. Perfect. So you got the first Perfect. round. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, that was on accident. I, I didn't know. What I was doing. No, no. It's, um, and in a way, like um, it, it kind of is okay when you know, like you don't know what you're doing because you, you could be screwing somebody over that right. you know is trying to. <laughs> Control the spot or trying to get a particular <laughs> card in, you know, an area. And, or um, even just going for something and getting midway cards. Yeah. Like you, did, you won that doing right. that seven points. That was, you had 14 points just off of midway cards that nobody yeah. else got. So without even knowing what you're doing, you're doing stuff. Yeah, you're doing something. Without having to worry about, like, oh, which one do I want to win in that, you can still get points other ways. Yeah. Which is why I like it because there's a lot of options within the game yeah. to get points. Yeah, it was a good strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Like was it. it fun? I think so at the very end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're ready for another game, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now, that, now that you know how to play. Yeah, no, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you could, um, like, uh, explain what the rules are, like, how would you explain, or like the gist of the game? Because, you know, um, w- when whenever I describe a game, let's say I describe this game to you and you've never played it, um, you know, it'd be something along the lines of, it's an area control game with set collection, and um, basically, uh, what is it? Uh, yeah, an area control game with set collection. Yeah, yeah. Like, how, how would you describe it? Like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like, I'm still trying to get the right. grasp of it. Mm-hmm. So I can't really explain it if I don't know it wholeheartedly, if that makes yeah. sense. Right, yeah. yeah. That's a good point. Um, were there some new mechanics to it that. Um, Oh, were there new mechanics that you haven't experienced before? Compared to other games? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, definitely. Like you said, when you're trying to go somewhere else that you, that you don't really need to go to. To, yeah. to you get know, those cards. Right. Yeah. That was actually pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It does take some pretty good... Uh, I can't even say that Strategery? word. Strategery. <laughs> Strategery. <laughs> and that's a mechanic that I don't think I've ever even played another game that really has it. At least yeah. not as well as this one has it. To where you're, you're, you're trying to do sort of two different things at once. It's, right. It's, I really like it for yeah. that. Cause it, is, it seems different than any other game. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like this game is like very elegant and like mm-hmm. all the mechanics fit. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it, like the theme is sort of like not there. You're not really reading the cards no. and exploring the world, you know, of 1893. No, yeah. um, but as far as like the mechanics, you know, the move, every move matters. And yeah. Every move like will affect something, even no matter how small it is, mm-hmm. you know, it affects something. So, um, and I think it's like really elegant in that way. You know, yeah, for sure. Some games um, have it where like. You just make wasted moves, and yeah, you know, yeah. like even in Splendor, you know, like a game I love, you can waste moves on that. I have a waste of move. <laughs> you can, you can. You could. Make when you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> but, um, I don't know what game you're talking about. Oh yeah, it's this one right here. <coughs> yeah. I'm just giving my hard time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what, what are your final thoughts on it for your first playthrough? Yeah, speechless. She's speechless. <laughs> um, it is definitely a game that I do want to play again yeah. and learn more and try to develop like a stronger strategy. Yeah. You yeah. Know, strategy methods. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I play it again. Cool. But I want the white dice. So. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm in yellow. Yellow. <laughs> I'm in yellow. Um, no, yellow. I only play yellow. <laughs> you don't play games when you get away. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's World's Fair. Yeah.
this was our, not our first play, but yours. So we want to hear from you. <laughs> what do you think? What's your like very first thought of the game? Speechless. Exactly speechless. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> 